Hey, what's up, reloaders? So I'm going to continue on doing some testing with the 30-06. I'm going to be shooting now some zinc bullets. These are the Lee 230 grain, but made out of zinc. They are 136. Now these bullets were made by Willie the Bullet Man. So thank you, Willie. I'm finally getting out to testing these. We're at 50 yards, so because I don't know how sporadic these will. Um, hopefully uh, they don't keyhole or anything. And I got the chrono up, so uh, we'll see how well these do. And I'll take you guys down range. So, let's get to it. So these are roughly 39.8% uh, lighter than the cast lead alloy for me. So the, uh, the Lee 230 grain usually drops 226. Uh, and these, like I said, are 136. So first shot, see how fast these things go. Hopefully the camera stays up. <clears throat> these are loaded up with uh, Hajdan 4198. I'm at 38 grains. Uh, seating depth is 3.340. Ah. <laughs> Check for pressure sign. That felt kind of hot. <laughs> Oh, looks good. And looks like I got a hit in the bottom right. So let's see what the next ones go to. But uh, that one gave us 2,521 FPS. <sighs> I'm about to set you guys up on the uh, truck. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they're keyholing. So uh, let me try forty grains. That's in the keyhole. And pressure look good. That was 2600 FPS. All right, so the zinc bullets, the first shots. Well, first shot was right here. Got a keyhole. Second shot was up here. Definitely a keyhole. Third shot down there. So uh, that was 38 grains of H4198. And then I jumped up to 40 grains to see if it'll stabilize. And this was the only one on paper. So, looks a little bit keyholed still, so. What happened there? <laughs> All right, that bullet shot my chronograph, just the wire. <laughs> I'm getting closer and closer to uh, pulling a Kyle Lust, man. Yep. So, I don't know. Let's take this chrono out the way before I actually have to replace it. <laughs> uh, yep, okay, there's the two pieces right there. Yep, you never know what happens. <laughs> go ahead and see if I can get a group going. First shot, hit the chronograph wire, so I don't know where that went. <laughs> and um, th that was, uh, shoot, I'm trying to remember now, 52 grains. So, in the second shot here, 
third shot here. I'm basically testing to see if these were going to be uh, keyholing again. What I ended up doing was I sized them down to 0 0.303. Uh, that is my bore diameter of my rifle. Um, and then I paper patched and then resized to 0 0.309. So I think I did alleviate the keyholing. Uh, again, I'm using my 153 spiral point design. Then I jumped up to 52.5 and I got a group going here. Um, look pretty good, no keyholing. And that was the third shot over there. So we're gonna try out uh, 53 grains. All right, last three bullets. We're gonna try Varget. Sorry, I said 53 grains, but I uh, loaded these up a little slower. These are 47 grains. Um, I was using quick load to judge the pressures on the cartridge. So we'll see if uh, these will do all right. all right. 47 grains, no accuracy node, but uh, no keyholing. So I think uh, sizing to my bore dammer is um, the key to making plain base um, powder pa uh, paper patch bullets work. Well, folks, so uh, that's the conclusions right now for the testing. Um, if you guys want to learn more about paper patching, I did do a series about how to make these things and I got something that works pretty good for now. I got a 150 grain flat point bullet, um, kind of a stubby bullet for the 30-06 that's uh, doing just over 3,000 FPS. Uh, paper patch bullets are basically a cast lead bullet with a piece of paper wrapped around it in lieu of a jacket. And um, it is an old tradition of the first jacketed bullets uh, before copper jackets came about. Other than that, if you guys are interested in how to make those things, please throw a subscribe, like my channel, um, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. That way, uh, any new videos that come up, you won't miss anything. So, well, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.